Crazy Aunt Lindsay, and you are in the Fab Lab. I'm here with my Fab Lab professor, Aslin. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> and today is super, super special. I am going to be announcing my citizen science project for the season. And then in honor of that, we are going to do a very special project to celebrate. So citizen science, what is that? Citizen science is a public participation in science research. Huh. Well, that's funny because some people seem to think that the only people that get to participate in scientific research are people wearing lab coats and have PhDs. <laughs> but that's that, not true. It's not true. You're absolutely right, Aslan. <laughs> Thank you for telling us. Um, because the truth is that people all over the world are conducting high-impact scientific research all over the globe. NASA even has a citizen science program. Now, I won't be going to space anytime soon, but I am going to be doing a citizen science project right here in my very own backyard. I recently discovered SciStutter.org, which is the database for citizen science projects. You can go there and do a search for all sorts of projects happening in your neighborhood over all sorts of interests. I mean, there's stuff there for astronomy, biology, watersheds, I mean, you name it. I didn't know there were so many sci citizen science projects happening across the globe, but now that I do, I am hooked. So I'm going to be using SciStarter.org to choose one project every few months uh, for my citizen science uh, exploration. So that brings us to some very, very important news. My citizen science project this season will be track their courting behavior for the next few months. And in honor of this project announcement, we are going to show you how to make not one, but two bird feeders. Oh yeah, and these are not just any bird feeders, people. They are Fab Lab Lucius. For the first project, all you're going to need is a teacup and saucer, cock, and birdseed. Now this one is really, really simple. All you're going to do is take your teacup, line it with a little um, cock, and then stick it onto the saucer. And let it dry. Make sure you're paying attention to the drying instructions on the uh, packaging. This one is just three hours, but some cock can take up to 24 hours to dry, so make sure you uh, look at the package for drying instructions. Now we're gonna just set this one aside to dry, um, but we pre-made one. And look at how fancy this one is. I love that Aunt Michelle glued it on an angle. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Um, so we're going to fill this with our bird seed. Really easy. Like this. And then let it spill out just a little bit. Ah, beautiful. Now you're ready to take this outside and set it in your family's beautiful garden and watch the birds flock to this buffet. So for this portion of the project, you're going to need two packets of gelatin, two thirds cup of water, two cups of bird seed, parchment or wax paper, straw, twine, and a little cooking spray for your uh, cookie cutters or molds. So the first thing you're going to do is dissolve your two packets of gelatin in your two thirds cup of water in a pot. Now have an adult stir this over medium heat over the stove for a few minutes until it's simmering. Now once it simmers, I want you to remove it from the heat and let it cool off for a little while. Throw in the bird seed, mix it up, now spray your mold with the cooking spray, and then spread it over parchment paper lining a cookie sheet. And then fill them up with your bird seed gelatin mixture. Now use a straw to punch a hole in the top of each of them, and then toss them into the refrigerator so that they can set for about an hour. Now take them out of the refrigerator, string them with twine, and go hang them outside on a tree or on your city balcony. Alrighty, here are our beautiful bird feeders. Um, we are gonna set these outside and keep our eye out for those pigeons. 
But um, what birds are native in your neck of the woods? I want you to do a quick search at SciStar.org um, and let me know what bird watching um, activities they have going on in your neighborhood that get your birds chirping. Leave a comment below with the link to uh, the project that you plan on uh, looking into. I would love to see what you guys have going on in your citizen science projects. This episode is a study in life science and habitat. Now there are five basic steps in scientific method. Observation, hypothesis, experiment, data collecting, and reporting. This project focuses on three of those five steps observation, data collecting, and reporting. Now, over the next few months, we're going to be observing our little friend pigeons and then collecting data about our observation. Then, we're going to report back to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology on our findings. And not only that, but we're going to use our beautiful bird feeders to attract our specimens for this wonderful experiment. My lab coat is on and my safety goggles are here, not on my face. That can only one thing, it's time for the Fab Lab wrap up, so I know that you have been paying attention to me. And not the fire truck outside. <laughs> what are the five steps to the scientific method? What is the scientific name for pigeon? What color is that little bird we set on the table outside? All right, everyone, that is it. How awesome was that, Aslan? It was awesome! No, it was epic! Epic? I have arrived, people. So if you like this comment, please hit the like button below or leave a comment. Um, for more projects like this and more, crazyantlindsay.com. As always, I am on Twitter, at Aunt Lindsay, as well as Pinterest, slash Aunt Lindsay. And as always, I'm on Facebook, slash Crazy Aunt Lindsay. Thank you very much for joining me, everybody. This is Crazy Aunt Lindsay, and we made beautiful bird ears today. Tweet, tweet, tweet.